Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. As with any appliance repair, you should unplug the power cord before beginning and shut off the gas supply. To replace the spark igniter switch harness in your range, first remove all of the burner grates, the burner caps, and bases. Now remove all of the screws securing the orifice holders to the main top. Insert a putty knife under the main top to release the two spring clips. Lift up the main top and pull the left mounting pin out of the slot first to remove the top. Next, remove the control knobs. You can use wire or string to help pull them off. Now remove all of the screws securing the burner control panel. Pull the panel off. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws holding the two rear burner valve brackets in place and remove the brackets. Now cut the zip tie securing the switch wires to the manifold and remove the wires from the metal retaining clips. Now pull the switches and dust covers off of the burner valves. Then disconnect the wire connector to remove the old harness. You're now ready to install the new spark igniter switch harness. Slide each switch onto its respective burner valve, followed by the dust covers. Confirm that the gaskets are in place on the rear burner valves, then realign the valve ports with the holes in the manifold. Reposition the valve brackets and replace the screws to secure the assemblies. Connect the wire connector and secure the switch wires in the metal retaining clips. Use a zip tie to secure the wires to the manifold. Realign the burner control panel and replace the screws to secure. Replace the control knobs. Replace the main top by inserting the right mounting pin into the hole in the bracket. Then position the left mounting pin into the slot. Make sure the support rods are inserted into the side panel bushings, then snap the main top into place. Make sure the igniters protrude through the appropriate holes in the main top. Align the screw holes, then replace all of the screws to secure the holders. Replace the burner basis by aligning the tab in the base with the notch in the main top. Replace the burner caps and grates. Make sure the bend in the grate frame faces the companion grate. You're now ready to turn the gas supply back on. Plug the power cord back in and confirm that the range is working properly.